testing, testing, testing. Hi, just a comparison between 3D Studio, 3D Studio Max viewports and Blender viewports. In 3D Studio Max, very easy. You've got a quad view. You can drag the views to change the sizes. You can change the different views in the different panels, like so. So it's very easy, very adaptable. If you're coming from Blender to Max, you might find it's really nice. On the other hand, if you're going from Max to Blender, like I did when I started teaching workshops and I wanted to use Blender to teach workshops, I thought, right, so it opens like this. What am I doing? How can I get a top viewport, bottom, etc., etc.? So the first thing you can do, which is quite easy, you can go to View and then you go to Toggle Quad View. So it makes a nice quad view like so. So you've got all the angles there. One problem with this, though, you, if you're used to Max, you can't really you know, well, you cannot, you know, change the viewports and drag it like in Max like this, yeah? There is a solution though, okay? There is a solution. So basically in, I just wanted to pull that there, I don't know. Um, so basically in Blender, you go to, back to your normal view like that, and you can go to this little icon here, and this gives you different options, different setups, you know, things like that. So a good one is the animation view. So that gives you three panels. And you might still be wondering, well, that's okay, but where are the where are the 3D views? So all you do is go 3D view there, 3D view there, and then you can change the views to suit. So you can have that one as a right view perhaps, and that one as a front view. And then so now we've got more of a thing where we can, you know, change the you know, the sizes of the viewports, like in 3D Studio Max. So it's good. Or if we want to do more, we can just start with a scene like this. We can go to this weird sort of triangle page turner thing here, and then we can drag it like that. We can drag it like this. We can drag it like here. And then we can take away these by dragging these away. We can even take those things, these bits away in most of the bits, in the most of the viewports. And there we go, we've got a, a max view going on here. Yeah. Okay, so remember if you want to change the view, which I just hid the viewports, we have to do it there or on the keyboard. So there you've got a nice adaptable viewport layout that you can change the dimensions exactly in the same way as you can in you know, 3D Studio Max. So that's that's useful to know, isn't it? Um, any comments, just let me know. I've got more tutorials on my YouTube channel here, and also my website has loads of resources, www.jamesabelart.com. It also, also has some of my own artwork as well. Okay, so I hope to speak later, and thanks very much for listening and watching. Goodbye for now.